I hate fusion rifles with a passion. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today we are going to be doing a weapon review of the Erentil FR4. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy this video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a growing LFG community where content creators and streamers can post all of their Destiny 2 videos and post when they go live. So I want to apologize ahead of time for my voice. I think I'm losing it because to me it actually sounds a lot different, but it's whatever. So the gameplay you are watching is of my very first gameplay with the Arental FR4. So don't judge me at all, please. Let's go ahead and get straight into the stats. As of this video, according to DestinyTracker.com, the Arental has a charge time of 780 to 900 an impact of 85 to 100, range of 61 to 88, a stability of 30 to 48, a reload speed of 10 to 37, handling of 17 to 47, with a magazine of 5 to 7. As for its hidden stats, we have a zoom of 15 to 21, an inventory size of 30, an aim assist of 65, and a recoil direction of 60. The Arantel in the gameplay has Torch HS3, Projection Fuse, Snapshot Sights, and Rampage. Now, it's a decent role on this Arantel, but there are better roles. I am not a fusion rifle guy at all. Well, at least when it comes to an energy weapon. I just don't like the charge times because I felt like it took too long, which is why I avoided them like a plague since the start of D2. I am more of a shotgun kind of guy, you know? And I already know I'm gonna get hate for saying that. <laughs> it's been that way since D1. However, this fusion rifle has been floating under the radar for quite some time. It wasn't until earlier this year that this fusion rifle has been adopted by many Guardians. That's not saying that people haven't used it before this year. I'm just saying that in 2019, the Arantil was actually given its time to shine with a little bit of popularity. And in PvP, it definitely shines. You can easily kill any Guardian with 9 resilience and below at close range, and 8 resilience and below from close to mid to long ranges. Guardians with 9 to 10 resilience have a fighting chance at mid to long ranges if the enemy's Arantil is not fully equipped with range or unless they miss their shot completely or all the rounds don't hit their target. Now when you fire the air until it does go upward toward the right. I actually put a counterbalance mod that way when I shoot the air until it actually goes straight up. Being able to map other guardians in PvP was a joke. Not to mention the almost 95% chance for a one for one where I unalive another guardian and then they drop special ammo just so I can reload my Arantil and keep going at it all day until I die. Playing in PvE with the Arantil was definitely a fun experience. I just ran around the Leviathan in the area where you have to unlock the doors, just one-shotting Cabal left and right. However, shielded Cabals will take two shots. One to take down the shield, and then the second to actually kill the Cabal. But when I tell you this gun felt amazing in my hand, I am not kidding. And that is coming from someone who hates energy fusion rifles. As of the recording of this video, the newest Erentil and my favorite out of all the ones that I have has Impulse MS3, Projection Fuse, Firmly Planted, and Rampage. And I actually put a counterbalance mod on it as well. If I could, I'd switch out Rampage with Rangefinder, and if it had Rangefinder, then it could be considered a god roll. But for now, it's close enough for me. If you are one of those Guardians like myself who hate energy fusion rifles, go ahead and just try out the Erento for a couple of PvP matches in quick play. Don't just give up after one or half a match. Seek out the enemy, 
charge the air until wisely, most likely behind cover, and go for the kill. After a while, you'll get the feel for the weapon and how it works, and then you will start having fun. And this I promise. As for those who already have the Erentil and use it on a daily basis, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know how you like it and what roles you have on yours. I'm not gonna lie, I hated and just utterly despised everyone who killed me with it, especially at ridiculous ranges unheard of in Destiny 2. This is why I decided to check it out for myself and see what the hype was all about. I went into the testing with low hopes, and I was actually disappointed at myself because this weapon did better than I had hoped for. Like, a lot better. So now, the Erentil will have an energy weapon slot on my character for quite a while until something better comes in Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. So let me know all of your thoughts on the Erentil, and be honest, tell me how you truly feel about the weapon and we can actually have a discussion about this in the comment section below. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon and I will see you guys in the next video.